What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. Today I'm talking about sarcocystosis, also known as rice breast. So maybe you've heard this. What is rice breast? There is a little bit of controversy about this as well, like a lot of topics in the waterfowling world. But let's first cover what it is, what it looks like, and how it might affect you. So starting out, this is a microscopic organism, single cell organism, protozoa. It is uh, picked up, the eggs of it are picked up by the ducks while they're feeding wherever, marsh, cornfield, uh, somewhere with a little bit of water. They pick up these eggs while they're out feeding. The eggs then hatch once they're in the duck's body and the little baby organisms, whatever you want to call them, go into the muscle fibers of the ducks, usually the breast and the legs. And from there they'll form cysts that look about the size and shape and color of rice and that's where it gets its common name rice breast now these cysts don't really do too much to the bird um, maybe in a very heavily infested animal it could be more apt to predation but just in a mildly infested animal you can't tell when it's flying when it's sitting whatever you can't tell that it has rice breast until you harvest it but here's a first person look at a mallard we shot last year that actually had rice breast so if you want a better idea of what it looks like firsthand here we go well, that's what rice breast looks like. so that should give you a little better idea of what rice breast looks like in the past however many years I've been duck hunting, I've only come across it twice. Last year was in Greenwing Teal, this year was in that mallard. It mainly occurs in dabbler ducks. And I say mainly because I haven't heard of it in divers, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. You know, as I said, how they pick it up, they get it feeding in the shallow water where they pick up the eggs. Not impossible for divers, but I haven't heard of it. So now we get to the point of what do you do with this bird with rice breast? You just harvested this bird, you know, you don't want to waste it. Uh, you owe it to the animal to fully utilize it if you can, but it's visibly lousing with parasites. So what do you do with it? Can you eat it? Is it even safe to eat? The answer is yes, it is safe to eat as long as you freeze it or cook it above 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That will kill the parasites within the bird. But it can also leave the meat gritty and coarse, so that can make the meat unappetizing. But on the other side, people take the uh, better safe than sorry approach, and a lot of websites recommend not eating it just for that reason. You know, uh, it's visibly lousing with parasites. You can literally see them there. They might cook out, but better safe than sorry. I can't tell you what to do. I, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, it's up to you. You know, I've seen people claim that they eat it all the time and they're still standing. They're no worse for the wear. Good to go. Other guys say, yeah, we just chuck them, which uh, don't do that. If you do decide to throw it out, the recommended ways to get rid of it is to either incinerate it or bury it because that will end the, you know, that will end the parasite's life cycle. If you just chuck it out there in a ditch or something, then a wild animal like a coyote or raccoon or something can eats that meat, becomes infected itself, or can even pass on the parasite into water supplies and keep infecting more waterfowl. Also don't feed to your ducks for the same reason, they can contract it too and pass it on as well. So like I just said, there's no right or wrong answer. I can't tell you what to do if you find yourself in the situation. I'm only presenting both sides of the argument. You guys can decide what side you fall upon. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. Be sure to drop a comment letting me know what your thoughts were. Guys, have you ever got any birds with rice breast? If so, let me know what species and what you do with them. Do you cook them? Maybe you have a good recipe for rice breast. I don't know. But let me know what you do down below if you get rice breast. If you haven't, let me know what you would do if you do find that. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting boot camps cooking videos and hopefully we can get some hunting and fishing videos out here soon once the ice melts off turkey season is just right around the corner so we'll be chasing gobblers before you know it and be sure to follow me on social media facebook instagram and twitter all under high prairie sportsman so you can stay up to date real time with all the outdoor adventures we go out on and we'll catch you out there guys see ya